to keep it in with Kaylee. Today I'm going to have a really small Halloween decor haul. I wouldn't really say it's decor, maybe like home home item haul for you. Very small because if you have watched my other videos, you know that I live in a small studio apartment and I'm trying to scale back some when it comes to my decor. My husband has told me that we're going to need a separate unit shed for all of my a she shed actually for all of my halloween decor and christmas decorations because i just have so much of it and all of my my storage space basically goes to it and ryan's like i can't really get anything that i need because there's no space and i know but i love holidays even though it's three months of the year so today we're just going to talk about Three things that I picked up from Department 56 for my Halloween Village, which I actually won't end up storing here. I'll send back home because my Halloween Village is there. And then I have something from Home Goods, and then I'm gonna finish up the wax haul, which was my last video with the Southbound Wax Company that I just didn't have time to film at the end because I thought it was gonna be too long of a video. Okay, so stay tuned and let's get started. I hope you guys are doing a lot of fun Halloween activities this month. Um, so. One thing I do love, absolutely love to do, is put up my Halloween village. It is so special to me. I love looking at it. It's just the best. So I picked up from the Snow Village collection the Sleepy Hollow uh, Headless Horseman guy. He was super cool. I'll unpackage these for you, but I wanted to show you the actual boxes first. Then I got the broom chair for my little witches section in my village if you guys have a halloween village let me know down below because that's another collector's thing that i like to do and i just think it's really great to pick out a few pieces every year or every other year and just watch your village village grow i don't want my village to be too large but i definitely if i find something i love i want to get it and add to my village so this i saw and it's a light up pumpkin patch billboard and i do have a pumpkin patch uh little section in my village so this is a pumpkin patch sign that I'm going to put next to my pumpkin patch in my village. I love the jack-o'-lanterns on there and I think it lights up. That's why it has that cord there. The lights above probably light up. But I like this and then I have the broom chair for my witches. All the little brooms in the top. Back says pay station. I just love that one as well. And then we have the classic Sleepy Hollow a Headless Horseman which I got. Department 56 is a really good quality company. I think it's uh, more pricier, obviously, than Lamex, which is their competitor. I, I'm trying to just solely stick with Department 56 because the heights vary with the figurines. So I just I just spend a little bit more and go Department 56. I do have some Lamex things throughout my village. And if you haven't seen my village, I will link it up above because not much has changed. I haven't put it up in two years. I'm hoping this year that I get to put it up, or at least my dad, if you're watching this. Help me put it up before I get home. Okay, so then another thing that I got from Home Goods is this cute little pie pan, and I couldn't pass it up because I just love I love pies during Thanksgiving times. I think that's the only dessert you really need to have. I don't really love pumpkin pie, but how cute would it be because there's a pumpkin pie inside of here. It says a little slice of ham. So this is what it looks like up close. So I just thought I had to get it because eventually I will have a family and I'll be able to put my pies in here. All right, now for the wax because, you know, I'm just loving my fragrance these days. First thing I have is the Witching Hour. And this is Campfire Smoke and Sweet Gooey Marshmallow Cream. It really, to me, just smells like a watered-down, smokier marshmallow fireside. Then we have pumpkin cookies and milk, fresh from the oven pumpkin spice cookies with warm sweetened milk. Oh my gosh, this is phenomenal. It really smells like you have something sweet and pumpkin-y in the oven. It's awesome. I absolutely love that fragrance. Apple crunch cookies is another one of my faves. This is crisp apple and warm cinnamon blends into a sweet cookie dough with crushed almond and vanilla cream. Almonds and apples. You never would have thought that'd be fall, but it is. Mmm, it's so yummy. The apples pop through, but I feel like there's an the almondy note is really a top note in that scent. Then we have October. October is golden nectar, red apple, and spiced berries. And this one, I remember, yeah, this one is leaves. Just a little bit more of a barrier note to it. Mm, and I love the color of this wax, this like mustardy fall color. Then we have pumpkin potion, rich pumpkin, caramel, brown sugar, whipped cream, French vanilla, French vanilla, cardamom, and a hint of maple sugar. This one to me smells like sweet cinnamon pumpkin, but there's definitely more of a maple note to it. And 
I'd say the pumpkin is a little more prominent in this one than in Sweet Cinnamon Sh uh, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin from Bath and Body Works. That one is just super duper cinnamony to my nose. Then we have Caramel Mallow Graham Cracker Crust. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Caramel Drizzled Marshmallow Layered on a Frosted Graham Cracker Crust. I love my marshmallow scents. They nailed it on this one. And then I absolutely love graham crackers. So the mixture of these two without the chocolate note works for me. I really love it. I can't find a s'mores one. I do have a sticky s'mores here, but it's not as good as this one. This one is amazing. So the sticky s'mores is graham crackers, melted chocolate, toasted marshmallows, and the smell of a smoky fall bonfire in the air. I feel like a perfumey, masculine, s'mores-ish scent. Um, I don't know. I, I don't love it. You know, I'm thinking about maybe doing a giveaway of some things that I'm just not in love with. Um, and putting them in like a little box maybe by the end of the year or I don't know I'll keep you guys updated let me know if you're into those uh, then I have the fall delights frosted graham crackers ice cream scoop bread topped with cream cheese frosting I don't remember what this smells like oh yeah it's really good it kind of smells like a cinnamon roll really really good yep I don't smell much graham cracker but you get that bready note with it and then it almost smells like there's the um no, it does smell like cream cheese frosting on it with a uh, cinnamon drizzle on top. But yeah, that's it for my, my Halloween haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know that it's small, but I wanted to give you guys something to watch. And I've done a lot of fun things so far this Halloween season. Yesterday I got to attend an early viewing of the Addams Family movie because our client uh, is doing a voiceover in that movie. And it was so cute and so fun for children. So if you have kids, definitely go check that out. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you're having a great October. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.